Here's another little gem for you on uh, Microsoft Teams today. Now, sometimes we create teams which uh, shouldn't last forever, like projects. I mean, they have a start and an end, right? So if you create a Microsoft team for a um, project, then let me show you how you can archive teams and still have access to it, but you then stop um, people's ability to actually contribute to the team, if that makes sense. So um, how do I get there in my teams? Of course, I can always see all the teams that I have which is driving me crazy. But there's uh, all my teams there. And right at the bottom, you'll see join or create team. And they will also see the settings button there. So when I go to settings, this allows me to manage my teams. Okay. can create a team from here as well. It shows me my active um, teams and it shows me my archive teams, which is zero at the moment. So if I scroll through this, I know that I recently, there we go. I created a human resource uh, team as a copy when I was testing this whole new template thing that's available in Teams. I did blog about that. You can go and have a look. But if I then go and I say, listen, guys, I actually uh, I want to set this to archiving. I am the owner, so I can archive it. And that means I can archive it for the other members of the team, if that makes sense. So there um, on the right hand side, you see the little ellipsis, the three dots. And if I go to more options, there is manage, add channel, add members, leave team, edit team, get linked to team and archive team. So I'm going to select archive team and it's going to say this will freeze all team activity, but you'll still be able to add or remove members. It's a bit strange, maybe just for read access and update roles. Go to the manage teams to restore the team. Make the SharePoint site read only for team members. That's important though. So you might be archiving this team, but if you don't make the SharePoint site read only, people are going to still be keeping on adding content there. So I definitely want to make the SharePoint site read only as well. I'm going to click on archive and then let's see uh, what happens. And now that will most probably show me, oh, there we go. There's my archive team. So if you've archived the team and let's say for some odd reason, you need to spin up this team again, or you want the team to start contributing it again. Maybe it's a, a project that's just been uh, put on hold or it got canceled. And then you know how this happens next uh, Monday, someone says, no, 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 that project's a go again. Then I can just go back to the team and say, wait a minute, let me just go and restore this team. Okay. So if I restore the team, it'll then open up functionality again. People can contribute, do conversations again, and they can actually um, uh, edit stuff on the SharePoint site again as well. But remember that the owner can archive teams and the owner still has access to the team to go there and to find things and to reference um, information. So there's a good way to calm your chaos when it comes to Microsoft Teams as well. Go archive the teams that's no longer in use but you can still use it. So um, it's not been deleted, not the same thing. It's just been archived so that people can't add content to it. So I hope that that helps you a bit and um, we'll chat soon.